wow, this thing still has power. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, um, this is going to be part six of my novel called uh, Jihad at Java Jills. And um, if you want to see part seven or part eight, possibly, it depends on the person who got a hold of a DVD like you did, uh, got a YouTube account and downloaded Jihad at Java Jills part seven or Jihad at Java Jills part eight, whatever it is, you know. And I'm, think, I'm hoping that if you do the same and they do the same as a collaboration to find out what happens in this novel, uh, you can share information and also download those videos there about Islam, which are excellent exposing the errors of Islam. And hopefully if, if they flood, if we can flood uh, YouTube with those videos, hey, people learn about how bad Muhammad and his Quran blow up with science might be able to stop Islam before it takes over and we all have to pay jizya tax, which is an extortion tax. Under the threat of death, if you don't pay it, when Sharia is imposed, and it, uh, it it's until you become a full-on Muslim, according to Quran nine one through five, and especially nine, Quran nine, verse twenty-nine. So, anyway, I believe this is part six. Yes, I believe part six of Jihad at Java Jills. All right, here it goes. All right. Brian viewed his viewed the novel. He wrote a novel. I wrote a novel. Okay. As his one last ditch effort to create curiosity and a need to learn about what happens in the novel. In the process, Brian felt he could create sleeper cells when he when he'd later pull off something to generate a lot of news and activate them, making it possible for those who would have the data disks disks in their possession to upload the videos of his fellow cyber crusaders when they type into the web browser yet again, Project Independence Day or messages from the edge of Earth. For you, it's uh, Project uh, Monster Zero. And ye, again, I don't think that would help to get it launched, but if you upload this video to YouTube and call it Jihad Java Jill 6, part six, then we can start you know, creating something here. Okay. When Brian had all the CDs and DVDs ready, he headed for the BART stations again. Although he had tossed down 500 of them onto the circular stone benches in the stations, he was, he was shocked at how, how little energy he now had from his cancer. When he made it home, he was sweating profusely. He made a video showing how, high, how killer high his blood pressure was now. It read 280 over 150. Things are, things are starting to go haywire, he said to the camera before, before uploading to LiveLeak. It had been a couple of months since he quit taking his uh, blood pressure medication. Still, he managed to dial a certain number without giving himself a stroke. It was the number of the cowboy. That's the guy he fights. He, that, that was his friend that he ended up getting in a fight with and uh, breaking his hand on his head. Calling to apologize, fucker? Willard asked with simmering hatred. You know, that is a very good question, said Brian. I was calling to ask if you want a rematch with me. What? Screamed Willard with shock. You think you can take me? I would have killed you with one punch, just one punch if I, if I wasn't holding back. Wow, I can't believe how stupid you are. I thought you actually had some brains, uh, but not anymore. Wow. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, fucker. Bring it, bitch. Are you are you in the area now? Oh, I hope I, I oh oh how I hope you are. Let's do it in the park for my for my neighbors to see. Okay. I thought you wanted to uh, knock me out at the canal. I'm gonna knock you the fuck out anywhere, bitch. I, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out anywhere, bitch. Unlikely, said Brian. I used to box in college and fight in school as well. I had never got knocked out. As a matter of fact, one time when these kids were throwing rocks at me, I actually ran full force into a tether ball pole, creating a bong sound with my when my head hit struck it. All it did was make me see stars. Why were they throwing rocks at you? Was it for you being a fag? No, for I was never gay. 
Retard. Retard, on the other hand, yes, it was for thinking I was retarded. I was one of those types who had a tendency to uh, be off in his own little world in class. That's because you are retarded. Well, retarded or not, Brian calmly said, I'm going to fight you on one condition. What's that, fag? It has to be video recorded using two cameras for two videos. Why the hell for? You want your humiliation recorded? Not exactly. You see, I have a LiveLeak account and on LiveLeak, losers like us punching their lights out get a whole, lot of, a whole lot of views. In the process of trying to knock the other guy out or, or killing him, it would help call attention to my fellow cyber crusaders who are excellent exposed in Islam. I mean, Willard cut Brian off with calling him insane. You're fucking insane, <laughs> laughed Willard. Am I? And I'm not insane if I should just want to get pussy and beer all the time. Okay, okay, that's not insane. That's being a man. Got it. Beats the hell of what you're doing, shouted Willard. Ignoring the insult uh, of being called insane, Brian went on and said, I'd have in the description of the video of why such insanity is taking place. To call attention to number one, Christian Prince. Two, David Wood, followed by Sam Shamoon, Nalan Yesmar, Ak Akhmed's Quran 5, Craig Wynn, Robert Spencer, Pamela Geller, Jay Smith, Bridge he was going to say Bridget Gabrielle, but then insane, screamed Willard as he, as if he really meant it. You're fucking insane. Also, I'll also bring up those names, on, I'll, I'll also bring up those names on the videos and tell the world that they are superb at letting us know how badly the Quran and Hadith blow it with science, giving, giving, some reason, giving, giving some reasons on those two videos since it will be two cameras I'll be using. One I'll be holding in my right hand to capture your rage. Viewers will get to see what a real cowboy looks like when trying to kill them with his fists as you charge furiously at me and in the process Islam is exposed in your rage at me when it goes vile should you actually kill me in the process. I don't plan on killing you. Just make you mad enough to charge like an imbecile at the camera as you try to kill me. How's that? I can't believe how fucking stupid and insane you are with this Islam shit. Really, I can't. No one gives a flying crap about exposing Islam. Exactly, said Brian, because they don't know about Quran 9, 1 through 5, 29, 38, 39, and 111. They don't know that Muslims are allowed to lie thanks to Quran 3, 28, 61 to 6, and 2, 250. Uh, Quran 2, 2, 25. Um, is that the last one right? It is. Which is why we ended up with a Muslim president. Chicago nuked and now we have blocks on us making it very difficult to see videos that expose the threat Islam poses to the world. Due to such a lack of care, everyone is going to soon have their asses up in the air five times a day, bowing to an old pagan shrine that was later destroyed and defiled by Abu Tayyar of the Karmatians, when he then when he then later used the sacred black stone as something to pee and poo on uh, before returning in pieces back to Mecca. All this wasting of one's life on a prayer rug to keep from paying the jizya tax when Muslims feel they, they are strong enough in number to obey Quran 9, 1 through 5, and 929. But hopefully that will change. Hopefully that will change. It will change when they witness my sacrifice I planned on video. You're going in to sacrifice me? Brian remained silent. Again, said Willard, no one, I repeat, no one except maybe fags gives a shit about exposing Islam. And who cares? It's just like, it's just like all the other stupid religions. Ah, how liberal of you to say that. Well, I'm not going to fight you if you don't agree to have it video recorded. And you will just have to live with the reality for the rest of your life that you willingly let some fag, some pussy faggot, some stupid asshole, some insane stupid faggot, some crazy motherfucker kicking the, kicked, who, uh, kicked the living shit out of you, and get this, he got away with it, smiled Brian wildly as he watched another sunset from, the house, from his house deck. Oh, you were so fucking dead, said Willard, oozing with incredible hate. Well, we'll see. The world may see it. 
Four, in my time of being away from you, I've not only written a science fiction novel that teaches on how to expose Islam on the internet should I should actually be published in its entirety due to possible collaboration on the internet should the DVDs and CDs containing the science fiction generate curiosity, I, I have also flooded BART train stations with those same CDs and DVDs containing video that, if downloaded to YouTube or Lively, in mass, should blast open a doorway uh, that just might let the world in on not only the great threat Islam poses to the world to world peace, but the great errors Islam has in it when it comes to science. It might make the world aware of Takia and how it allows mu a Muslim to lie to get our guard down with Quran 328, 6106, and 225. In the process, a Muslim may start doubting that he'll have children. Uh, so-called virgins, to have sex with in that slothful brothel old Allah promises them in the sky should they obey Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39. That a Muslim might actually end up thinking that beating his wife, just if he just fears rebellion from her, like he can do with Quran 4, uh, 434, is a bad idea. That being allowed to kill your innocent children if you just fear that they will grow up to disappoint you or show ungratefulness toward Allah is not only evil, but selfishly stupid, yet that is what is inferred in Quran 1874 through 81, creating, quote, honor killings. That being able to have sex with someone's wife just because she is your right hand possessed slave, which you, uh, which you get with the first part of Quran 424, is in fact highly evil. That killing, someone's wife, that killing someone's slave just because they have killed your slave is very evil as well, yet is allowed in Quran, for, uh, Quran 2, 178. That forcing people, that forcing people who, be, who don't believe like you to pay a high extortion tax called jizya or risk death if they don't pay it until they become full on Muslim like you get in Quran 9, 1 through 5 and 9, 29 is pure evil. Hey. You kill me, or I kill you. Well, as Spock says in the Wrath of Khan, the, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one. Well, as two loser jokes in life bash their brains out, which is apparently what you really want to do with me, it will be the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the two, me and you, since we really don't have anything of importance to share with this world otherwise. Let's see how much time do I have left here? Oh, crap. i got to stop here. Bye.